So only two things can change your life. First, the unthinkable happens. Second, a leader steps into your life to hold you accountable to the standard of your vision. Well, the unthinkable is happening right now. And many people are saying they're going to wait till 2021 before they get into action. The problem is inaction for these next few days also cost you your dreams. And life is fickle, so you do not have tomorrow before you get started. Hi, my name is Raju Panjwani. I'm a certified leadership coach. And I'm Trisha Ramos, a certified high coach. So why do you talk about mortality? Well, let me take you to what happened to, to me. I open my eyes and I'm throwing up filthy water. I'm staring at the form of what looks like a little girl hanging from a branch of a tree. Where am I? What has happened? Why can't I see? I begin to sense that I'm alive, even though I thought I was dead. Wait, where was my two-year-old, my six-year-old, my other two kids, my wife? I recall being hit by a high-speed wall of water and then the panic of drowning. I recall that, praying for the survival of my kids. Little did I know then that we were all caught in the tsunami of 2004. You may know that 400,000 people died in Asia from that tsunami. So the moment I survived, that moment changed my life forever. So what was my life before? Well, you know, I had a great job at, you know, at a Wall Street firm. Uh, I was comfortable. Uh, I guess I got paid enough just to stay on the hamster wheel and pay enough not to quit as you may be familiar with. So I had achieved so much success in my life by most standards, but certainly I didn't feel fulfilled. And almost two years had gone by in my 18 year career that I felt, you know, I had, I had to try to do something else with my life. And so that moment changed my life. So before the tsunami, I needed more courage to pursue my dreams. I was very busy. I lost touch with who I was. And I felt a loss, a loss of purpose and direction. So as Fisher said, life is fixed. So where, where am I at now? Because through the process you know, of, of coaching, I found courage. I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I wanted to run my own business. So if I wasn't gonna do it now, when was I gonna do it? Second, I focus now only on what's important to me. I'm quite comfortable being uncomfortable. And I discovered that I don't just have one main purpose in life. I could find purpose in anything I choose to do. Hmm. Thank you for sharing those lessons. For me, the story goes this way. About eight nurses immediately surrounded my bed. One asked me my name. The other one was undressing me and putting the hospital gown on me. One was on my left arm putting in an IV. Another one on my right putting in an IV there. Somebody was taking my blood sugar. There was so much happening all at once that what I was really more concerned about beyond all that is that I was seeing double out of my left eye. And so what I'm sharing with you is one of the moments I remember vividly when I was brought to the emergency room when I had a stroke six years ago. You know, leading up to it, I had been burning multiple candles at both ends. I had just received a big promotion at my job, but I was also trying to maintain mm. all of my side hustles. I was a holistic health coach. I taught group fitness, and I also was launching a network marketing business focused on wellness. And I had dreams of one day leaving corporate, owning a business, and being of service to people who wanted to improve their health and well being. How ironic then right. that I missed the importance of having balance in life. And so, even though I thought I was unstoppable, the problem was I forgot I'm not a machine. And though, you know, you looked at me on the outside, I looked really fit. Internally, my nervous system was out of whack. I call this event a stroke of luck because it forced me to push the pause button. You know, there's a great quote that when you push the pause button on machines, they stop. But when you push the pause button on humans, they start. And that's what this stroke did for me. Today, I feel more vibrant. I have more balance and I feel more free. 
And so despite living in a restricted world of these pandemic times, I'm really happy to share that it was that moment that caused me to awaken to this reality. Well, today we are all in the midst of an unthinkable event mm -hmm. and it is pausing the entire world. You know, some of us are ready for it. Some of us are still resisting it. How are you choosing to be during this time? Right. So, you know, a lot of us would say this is not possible for me because, you know, you feel it, there's such disbelief in what you, what's possible for you to do in this moment. I'm too old. I'm too young. My husband or wife won't support me. I'm not good enough. That's the common excuse. Um, I haven't done this new thing before, so I'm stuck to my job. We're not asking you to leave your job. We're just saying find the, the clarity of your purpose. Um, you probably want to fix some part of your life or some other part of your life, and you're just not making the move because you're just waiting for 2020 to be over. Life is fickle. It's not over. You have three months left in the year. And every day that we have breath, we have possibilities. And so maybe you've already seen glimpses of it, glimpses of hope, glimpses of you meeting your potential, but maybe you haven't yet given yourself the permission to go after it. This is when we say to you, maybe it's time to find a mentor, perhaps work with a coach, because coaches help you broaden your perspective and be able to see your experiences with a new lens so that you empower yourself to live a life that you are co-creating and you're not living it as mm -hmm. if it's happening to you or by you. Right. So, you know, as we said earlier, the two things change your life. The first is the unthinkable happens, which is we've already, we already been through this. The second, in terms of leadership, is really, it's an internal job. You gotta make the move, right? Because until something changes in you inside you with the help, or perhaps without help of somebody. So why are we talking about mortality? Well, we just told you our stories. There's just like, life is really fickle. You don't have tomorrow. We're, it's worth repeating, we don't have tomorrow. We think we do. So, you know, in coaching, what, what has helped us really to, to refocus and get, get reignited in our lives, reimagine our lives and recreate our lives, that's what we help our clients do. Yes, and so many people often come to a point where not only are they trying to make sense of the uncertainty around them, mm -hmm. but they're looking for that clarity, seeking that clarity. Chances are, if you're still watching right now, that's you. And it's also not a coincidence that you're watching our video this time in your life right now, because we do believe that, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So this clarity that people are looking for amidst times of of uncertainty really has to begin from an inward journey. And that's what reignite is. You know, you have to reignite that flame that's within you. That maybe, you know, life has caused you to feel a little beat up and maybe that flame is, is just a flicker. Or maybe, you know, if you imagine a candle, maybe it's not even lit. And maybe you're looking for a way to just, you know, reignite that spark within you. That's the first step. The first step is just having the awareness and the understanding that things could change for you. So the question is, how do you want to live? Do you want to play small? Do you want to live in fear? Do you want to continue to tolerate your life based on someone else's expectations? Because that's how we lived. I'm telling you how I lived. And it had something had to change. So, so for us, it was you know, something traumatic happening and you don't need trauma in your life of that kind of that magnitude to change your life. So are you going to take off, you know, your limitations and beliefs and start living life on your terms? That's what we are helping clients. Do. Well, that's also the reimagine piece, yes. right? The reimagine is you get to, yeah, you get to be aware of what, how you've been living thus far, playing small, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps fearful. like fearful, but you get to reimagine a life where you're not living it on based on fear but you're living it based on this uh, fullness of expression based on love mm -hmm. how would your life be different mm -hmm. so for us that was part of the journey is that we we had to really get to the truth of where we were in the moment and then we had to give ourselves permission to dream beyond what we've already experienced we had to reimagine how life can be different because that's the second step 
that you have to go through if you are even in the least bit interested in transforming your life. But it doesn't end there. We all know what it's like to read books, to take online courses, to take classes. We all know what it's like to talk to you know people and, and talk and talk and talk and learn and learn and learn. But it isn't until you apply what you're learning that it becomes experience, which mm-hmm. turns into wisdom. And right. that's the final phase mm-hmm. of this process is recreating your life, recreating your life and actually seeing outcomes and results that more are in alignment with who you believe you truly are. Right. So, you know, money is the measure of success in the world. And how many people do you know that have a lot of money? but are super unhappy um, or they have a successful business, but their relationships and their health doesn't go along with them and doesn't sustain them. And on the flip side of that, you have people that doesn't, they don't seem to have a lot, you know, you would look at them and you'd think, wow, they have nothing Mm -hmm. yet. Somehow they have so much love and joy and happiness in their hearts that they're experiencing abundance in in such a wonderful way and so really this is about tapping into what is your definition of success Mm -hmm. what is your definition of what life a life worth living is and don't let this current time we're living in stop you from going after that or being able Mm -hmm. to really experience it right so truly uh we we talk about being bold and we talk about being conscious, that's what we, what we help our clients uh, with. So if you're ready to at least hear a little bit about, about what we do, join us for a live webinar coming up uh, in the link below and join us for the masterclass that we, we take you through our, not only our journey, but also explain to you what, what we do um, to help clients. And it's free, so click the link below. Take care.